Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Let's take an updated look at the euro versus U.S. dollar. It's uh, rotating back to the downside, making new lows for the day. And in the process, looking to test some, uh, some support targets on, on the uh, downside that we had outlined. So let's get started. All right, what do we know? Uh, well, uh, in the euro versus U.S. dollar, we know these highs right through here. And uh, these highs go all the way back to this uh, period right through here, which is uh, around the August uh, 20, it's like 23 to 26. Uh, a weekend there and uh, the price uh, moved above it in uh, trading last week uh, uh, both on Wednesday and again on Friday and trading here today we moved in between those two highs right through there and this high right here uh, but uh, could not extend up to the 112 13 level and rotated back to the downside this most recent high came right up toward the 112 level nice little round number the natural resistance level and we started to rotate to the downside uh, what, what we did uh, see over through here was uh, that the uh, price held the 200 and then we more, more or less tried to hold the 100 trading here today. But uh, once we broke below the 100, uh, fell, uh, fell uh, back below the uh, 200, we came back up, retested the 100, and then rotated back to the downside. So it's it's doing its ups and downs through here, but uh, tilted the bias from uh, being more bullish above this moving average to more bearish below the moving average. And that's a key uh, takeaway from this move. Now, uh, going forward, what we want to see is the price remain below the 200-hour moving average. If it does that, then we look toward the 38.2% retracement of this last move to the upside from the September low to the September high. And then we start to look toward uh, these uh, number of uh, swing different lows that came in through here. I'm outlining all those lows right here with arrows. And you can see that uh, there's a number of them that got came between the 1.1124 and 1.1125 to get below that level. And we start to open up the door for further downside momentum here. But right now, right now, uh, we're trying to... Um, uh, stay below 200, get below 38.2% retrace, and we'll see where that takes us. My name is Greg Michalowski with a 4X uh, quick look at the euro versus US dollar. Good fortune with your trading bow now.